On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take real data, in my case, it's gonna be sales data, but it can be any data, and implement it into your live Webflow website. It's gonna be super cool, stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal, welcome back to Flux. And this time I wanna share something really, really cool and actually quite advanced that you can do with Webflow without code. And so, and more than just show you kind of a tutorial of what I did to implement real live sales data in my website, I wanna show you how I troubleshoot problems because I didn't really know how to do this until a couple of days ago. And I struggled with some issues that I'll, I'll, I wanna show you how I solve them so that maybe you can solve your own problems and do whatever you wanna do in your Webflow website. So here's the gist. We recently uh, put up a new website for Flux Academy and I wanted to use real student data here so you can see the number of students we have in every program. This is the Webflow Masterclass. This is, for example, the 10K website problem. Um, website process and you can see we have different different students photos but also do an, a number of students that is constantly updating as people purchase now originally and some of you noted in the design case study that we have for this website by the way if you didn't see the case study watch it here um, originally when we put the website live I I didn't thought about I didn't think about connecting it to the real data so basically what we did is we took kind of a static number and we put a counter so that you know every second the number will grow and kind of gives you the the feeling of people joining but as some people commented I didn't really feel good about it because it was kind of fake even though the original number was true um, the numbers just randomly went up every second and I wanted this to be real and so I went ahead and I did this and let's see basically how I did this so we're running our courses on a platform that's called teachable that's basically where we host our courses and I basically knew that I can probably connect Teachable through using Zay Zapier. And Zapier is kind of a tool that connects a lot of other no-code tools to Webflow. So here's the way that I, I wanted to set this up and I'll show you where I struggled. The first, the first thing that you wanna have is you wanna have a CMS collection um, for the courses because for each one of them, you wanna have kind of a field for the number of students. So you can pull that number and use it. And this field, you can update it through a Zapier, right? So basically, I went into Zapier. This is my Zapier account. And I've created a new Zap called Update Website with Student Number. And this is the trigger. So this is what, when something happened, when a new enrollment in Teachable happened, you do this. And here, I've set up a condition because we have three programs. And so basically, it sets up that, you know, let's dive into this. Um, let's do edit here. So basically, if the name of the course is Webflow Masterclass, run this. And this basically kind of splits the zap into the three cases, depending on which course somebody is enrolled into. Now, basically, the way that Zapier works is there's a trigger. If something happened, then you do something. So initially, what I wanted to say is, you know, if somebody purchases, let's say the Webflow Masterclass, you go ahead and you increment this number with one. But then I struggled because basically when you go ahead and you input the number in the, you know, in the Zapier here in the update live items, you can't use the same number plus one. You need to just tell them what is the new number. You can't kind of run a mathematical operator on it. And so basically that's where I was stuck. I didn't know. So how do we pull that number increment it and then bring it back inside the database. I didn't really know how to do this. So at that point, I basically wrote a support ticket to Zapier. I told them, here's what I wanna do, but I don't understand how to pull the number from Webflow so that I can update it and then bring it back. Basically, they told me that Zapier has something that's called Zeta Bear, uh, Zapier, <laughs> Zapier storage, which kind of operates as a database, like a, a, a me, a, a, you know, uh, a database that lives within Zapier and you can pull data from it versus, you know, Webflow where you can't pull data, you can just in input data back to it. So basically I had to do kind of a setup, which is create this Zapier storage with three rows in it for each one of the courses with initial number. And then what happens is that we have kind of like, if the trigger happens, you go into this Zapier storage, um, which is basically this one, and then 
you go into the relevant key. In this case, WFM stands for Webflow Masterclass. Increment it by one. And then we have the updated number so that we can go into Webflow. Of course, we choose our account. We choose our our project, we choose our collection, and then which is the field that you want to update. And here in the number of students, we basically take the number that we've updated right here and we update it with the new number. So basically, after doing this, when the Zap uh, runs, this basically updates the number in the CMS collection. All right, so now basically what we've done is we've updated this custom field here. Now let's see how I've implemented the custom field. Basically a custom field, you know, it, it would be very easy to put it inside the website. However, well, first let me show you how I did this and then we'll see what my problem was. So basically I went here into the website and here into the number of students. I've put here, as you can see, in the place where I want the number to be, I've put in a collection of the courses and in each page I basically filtered and you can see it right here on the right I filtered for the relevant course so in this page because this is the page for the Webflow Masterclass I only want to see the item that its name is equals the Webflow Masterclass and obviously this is different in every one of the courses but then I had a problem because the field here is called a number this is just numbers. However, I wanted the numbers to have kind of a comma separator. You know, usually when you write numbers after three digits, you add a comma. But the number field here, which we've updated, can't have commas because this is just a number field. So I was like, how can we take this number and we can add this comma? And I didn't really know how to do this. So I did what I did what I usually do, which is Google, use Google, and just Google my problem, which is, in this case, Webflow add comma to numbers field. Basically, this is what I Googled, and I found out that, you know, even in 2016, so four years ago, people already had this problem, um, and it, it, there is no kind of built-in solution in this. However, you know, Dave here from Webflow actually gave the solution. So basically, you create a very, very simple um function that you add to the to the custom code of the site so basically there's a function that when is run is just adding the the comma to the to the string and so i've added this to the site header and then instead of just putting in the number inside as a text inside the you know inside the website uh, where's my webflow website right here all right so that's why in here instead of adding the number i'm adding a custom code and in this custom code basically what it says is run this function quite like dave said here basically i i rewrote this with the value that i wanted so in this case it's pulling and you can add uh data from the cms from in, into custom field. So in our case, we want to pull in from the CMS the number of students. So we run this function, right? Number with commas, run this function on number of students, and that's it, just write it to the document. And when you put it, basically the end result is this. It's just going to run, write the number, but it's going to add the commas. So that's basically it. Now I've got a number that updates itself regularly every time somebody purchase and again this is different on each one of the pages and uh yeah and it, it's now connected basically to teachable every time teachable will have a new enrollment my webflow website is going to be updated automatically and this is really really fun and brilliant i hope that you're going to be able to use this in your own website we're going to do a really really deep dive into the webflow build of this website because there's tons of other cool webflow stuff that we did with this i'm not sure when i'm going to do this because i want to do this live to interact with you but um i need to, to figure out a good time to do this live with you i don't want to just upload a normal video for this anyway hope this video was useful if you want to learn more about webflow make sure to check out the webflow masterclass in the link below and i will see you on the next video Bye bye